so up to this point what we have uh, established is that uh, we know what a pd is and we have uh, uh, discussed a way to find out the approximate solution of those pds okay so but pd in themselves just just simply a pd is not solvable without something called boundary conditions so we'll be going to look into uh, boundary conditions in this lecture Okay, so in general, the mathematical models that we have developed to formulate a PDE requires additional information about the boundary because how does it connect with the external environment? Okay, that's the information that's actually we are providing. Uh, okay, so they, these boundary could be the boundaries of time or the boundaries of the space. Okay, so the time uh, dimension, the spatial dimensions. So we need to provide that information as well. Okay, so these informations are known as initial uh, conditions or the boundary conditions if you are considering time as an independent variable then they are called initial conditions and if you are condi uh, considering uh, spatial dimensions, okay, constraint on the spatial dependent with independent variables then they are called uh, boundary conditions, okay. So in this series we are not going to discuss the uh, the time variant problems okay where time is an independent variable because our mostly our problem would be static problems or equilibrium problems okay so in context of only when when uh, the independent variables are only spatial variables so in that context the partial differential equations together with a set of additional restraint okay is called a boundary value problem so the pd that we have discussed together with the boundary condition is called a boundary value problem okay so just 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 for the sake of completeness so similarly we can define initial value problems for if we consider time also as a, a time as an independent variable what do, what do we what do we mean by independent variables just the variables on which your state variable or the variable for which you are solving is dependent for example if you are solving displacements in a field okay in in some space over the domain then your displacement varies from from location to location that is xyz so these xyz are independent spatial variables in case the displacement also varies with time okay so the time is also an independent variable in that case so our problem will become what we call a initial boundary value problems okay so it's also involving in time and it's also varying in uh, the space okay so but in this series we are only going to talk about the boundary value problems there is no time involved anywhere okay so roughly what kind of boundary condition that we, that we can have we can have two kind of boundary condition the first one is a Dirichlet or the essential boundary condition where we impose some kind of restraints on the value of the parameter or the state variable that you are solving for which is actually a displace for example displacement okay so we, we specify this in the second type of boundary condition which is called Neumann or natural boundary condition some kind of derivative okay some kind of change of that variable is specified usually we call a flux kind of boundary condition the this type of boundary condition know that these these uh, boundary conditions are uh, specified on the boundaries okay of your domain so an uh, example of normal normal boundary, boundary condition could be something like this this is some generic or some some expression but it involves the derivative of your uh, state variable that is your function that you want to find out okay so that thing is uh, expressed uh, like this okay so concluding that uh, in the series we are going to solve the boundary value problems and uh, uh, the a generic form of PD would look something like this where independent variables are x and y 
and we can classify speed disease into different kind depending on these coefficients a b and c so mostly we'll be dealing with this elliptical pds okay elliptical um, mostly second order uh, pds linear elliptical pds so this, this i just wanted to uh, make things clear that what we are solving we are solving linear elliptic pds and coupled with boundary condition it is called the boundary really problems and we have discussed there are two types of boundary conditions the essential or the dirichlet boundary condition or the natural and the normal boundary condition yeah so that's it for this video thank you